Hi, it's Chris here from the EQ Mod Project. In this tutorial, I'd like to look at ASCOM Pad. Now, ASCOM Pad is a, a little uh, gamepad interface that I wrote to allow uh, people with ASCOM telescope drivers uh, to control their mount using a gamepad. Now, EQ ASCOM obviously has its own inbuilt gamepad uh, support. So this was another utility for people that, that, that couldn't use the EQ, EQ ASCOM driver. Um, now, subsequent to that, uh, I put in uh, focuser support. And that's really the area where this application has, has, has mostly been used. Um, and that's what I intend to show in, in this tutorial. Uh, perhaps in a, a, another tutorial, if there's any interest, we'll look at the mount control. But mostly people are, uh, seem to be interested in, in having their focuser work off a, a, a gamepad. Okay, so here is ASCOM pad running. As you can see I've got my, my little gamepad monitor here so you can see what I'm doing with my gamepad itself. Um, and on startup it's currently, because I've used it before, it's automatically connecting to the ASCOM uh, focuser simulator. Okay, uh, ASCOM pad can assign sounds uh, to your, because all these things are staying on top, sounds to your individual buttons, so I, I've, I've got some rather annoying sounds as, as signed at the moment, but in and change the step sizes, uh, also for locking the focuser and unlocking the focuser, and selecting the focuser. This works in exactly the same way as EQ ASCOM. You simply uh, click these buttons and navigate to wherever the uh, sound file is located. In addition to that, there is obviously the, the bit to configure the buttons, um, which again is identical to EQ ASCOM. Um, so if I focus it in, assign a couple of buttons. Uh, a button two for focus it in. Four for focuser out, uh, increment preset four, decrement preset one, um, focus lock ten. Now, by default, uh, ASCOM pad will use the joystick as well to control the focuser. So, moving it forward, I think, moves it in, moving it back, moves it out. Uh, and to the left and to the right to change the uh, step presets. So now if I press my buttons, in. you can hear it goes in, out, out. Or I can use the joystick to do the same thing. So in, in out, out. Okay. Now, you, um, ASCOM pad can support up to two different focuses, provided they have a unique uh, ASCOM driver ID. Now, I know some companies like Shoestring uh, actually provide two versions of their focuser so that you can use two focuses and they, they each have different driver IDs. To, to flick between which, fo uh, if you have two focuses, you can assign a button to flick between the focuser. Um, okay. ASCOM pad will work with uh, either relative or absolute focuses. That's an ASCOM term. Um, it depends how the ASCOM driver presents itself, but it can work with absolute absolute positioning or, or uh, relative positioning. And it will do its best job depending on whatever ASCOM properties uh, your focuser is exposing. Now the way we we work is that we have these these presets which are step sizes and this really affects the resolution of movement. So preset 1 is a one-shot movement and it will move it one 
step. So if I press the in button and I move in this thing so we can see the count, the count's here as well, it goes down by one. Doesn't matter how long I hold that button, it goes down by one. And the same is true with the joystick or the, the button presses. Okay. Preset 2 has been set up for 10, so naturally if I press the in button or press it on my uh, gamepad, yeah. it goes down by 10. Preset 3 is a continuous, um, and what that means is it will go and move this number of steps, and in this case it's quite a large number. Let me Let me move that down to something a little more easy to demonstrate, something like 20. I haven't got it set, sorry. Okay. Now this is continuous, so if I now move in, it'll move it 20 steps, and then another 20, and then another 20, and then another 20, until such point as I release the button, in which case a halt is, is issued. Now on some... Um, the focuses, they don't support the halt instruction, so at that point it would move the final 20. And uh, So the movement is, is, is slightly different. I've also got an, a, another continuous, which is the, pretty much the full range of, of movement for this uh, simulator. And so pressing that, it will move the entire range whilst ever the button is pressed. So by using this, you can affect the resolution you're selecting a preset, the resolution at which you're moving. If, if you need to move a long way, you could use uh, preset 4 or preset 3, and hold the button down, and then when you get approximate focus, you then perhaps want to be using the one-shot movements to, to, to get closer to fine focus, and obviously preset 1 here that's just moving a single step at a time is, is your very fine focus. Okay, that's essentially... Uh, all there is to show. Um, so there's a, a gamepad lock, which uh, now means if I press the buttons, as you can see, nothing is happening. Yeah, and now it's. So I, I would normally as, as, as assign one of these buttons here. Now, it's important to note that ASCOM pad will work in parallel with EQ ASCOM. So long as you don't uh, assign the same buttons in EQ ASCOM as you've assigned in ASCOM pad, um, you can have your, your, your mount control and your focuser control all shared off the same gamepad. Okay, that concludes the demo.